Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, since it was requested a bunch, I'm here with another sprite tutorial, and this time I'm going to be showing you guys how you can animate fights. Um, so right here I have a punch animation that I did just really quickly um, that I can sort of use it as an example as I'm teaching you guys how to do this. But before we get into this, we need to talk about easing. So, um, I already did talk about this in the second episode of the series, but I'm going to talk about it again in this specific context because it's super important if you actually want your punches to look impactful. So, first off, I'm just going to show you guys this. So, if you don't add easing to your animation, this is what it's going to look like. So you can see it's really, really bland and like it, it just looks flat and it doesn't look like a realistic motion because the entire time it's moving at the exact same speed. So instead of that, obviously, what we're going to want to do is add easing to it. And this makes it look so much more lifelike because instead of just moving at the same speed the entire time, it's starting slow, speeding up and then slowing down again, which is... I mean, how things move in the real world. So if I show both these here, you can see in comparison, like obviously the one on the top that has easing looks so much better. I don't think anybody's going to argue with that. Um, but we're going to use these, like you're going to want to use this concept when you're animating anything, but it's really, really, really important for fights. So the way this would look in an actual fight scene is... Um, I'm going to remove the effects just so just so it's a little more basic but when someone's punching obviously the motion that's fast is when they're actually extending their arm so you want to do that really quickly um if you want to add more frames when you know they're winding up or after they punch so in this case right here you can see all these frames i have for goku it's a lot of really slow frames to wind up the punch. And then once he actually swings his arm forward, it's just two frames versus like six over here. And it makes it look good because he slowly brings his arm up and then really quickly punches it forward because I had a small amount of frames there. So if I had him moving at this slow speed the entire time, um, it wouldn't look like he's really punching with any force because he's punching just as fast as he's winding up, which that's just not realistic and it doesn't look good. Um, so once you have the basic animation, which this is basically just adding on to um, episode two of this with having, you know, teaching guys how to animate the regular sprites. Um, but the, the way that you're really gonna make it look good, because even though this motion looks realistic, it, it doesn't really have like the kind of like oomph to it. Like it, it doesn't look like it doesn't look that hard, even though it's realistic. It, it doesn't really hit like how a Dragon Ball fight should. So the one thing that I'd recommend for this, and you can do this using the effects tutorial that I made a little bit ago. Obviously you can watch that on my channel if you haven't yet. Um, but I'm going to add a little hit spark effect. And what's this, what the, what this is going to do is it's just that little burst of energy is going to make it look way cooler and more dynamic. So you can see already this looks better. But if you want to go the extra mile, the thing that I always use to make hard impacts seem like really hard is add camera shake. So I had a tutorial for that as well that you guys can watch. Um, but yeah, like once you add the camera shake, it's going to make this look so much better. So you can see with camera shake, I had a little movement here. And then I kept the camera relatively like still for everything else. Like it's only a small movement here winding up. But then on the punch, because it's a really fast movement, I shook it really hard. And when you actually watch the animation, it makes it look like he's punching him super hard. So if you keep in mind all these things, if you use the easing, remember to make the punch fast and you make the camera shake and you add an effect where the impact actually is, it's going to really be a nice punch, like really however you do it. Um, 
you just need to use the effects and the camera to your advantage to really sell it and make it look realistic. And another thing that I've seen some people do is you can see here with um, Kid Boo, when I have him actually get punched, you know, he, he flies back. And because you, you don't want to just have it so that when they get punched, they don't really move because that's not realistic. Because the same way that we want, you know, Goku to be hitting his arm forward really fast, Boo needs to be flying back here because all this force, if that's a hard punch and Boo gets hit with it, it would be unrealistic if he didn't really take any impact. So I moved him back just as fast as he punched and it makes him really look like he's actually taking the punch. So if you guys have any more questions about this, just let me know in the comments or if you think I should have included more information in this, I can always make a follow-up video. But really, I think that's all you guys need to know to make just really, really cool fights. Like if you use all the different aspects that I've talked about in previous tutorials, then you should be able to put them together and make a pretty badass animation. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.